Live from Acadiana, your local news leader, this is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. The head of Al-Qaeda and a key figure behind the 9-11 attacks is dead after a U.S. sanctioned drone strike in Afghanistan. His death comes after U.S. troops pulled out of, Ag of Afghanistan last summer, ending a two-decade war. New Orleans police are investigating the death of an 18-year-old who fell from an abandoned building in the Garden District. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News Tanner Rodrigo Taylor. One man is behind bars in a deadly shooting, claiming the life of one man in Broussard. Police are not releasing the name of the victim until contacting the next family kin. Last year, police are looking for three possible witnesses of an attack in downtown Lafayette on Friday, July 22nd. Police have not released information on what happened or the victim's name. Good morning, Katiana. I'm News 10's Elise Corville in St. Landry Parish. What's been a headache for years continues to grow and become an even bigger eyesore. Officials say illegal trash dumping has gotten out of control. Parish President Jesse Bellard says they can't seem to get in front of the problem. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hogue. When driving down the Basin Bridge, you'll notice the cameras are yet to be installed. However, law enforcement is still cracking down on violators. I'm Renee Allen. Some Lafayette Parish property owners are calling for an emergency court order. They live near drainage ditches that are clogging up. LCG's hands are tied because a judge ruled the land they were working on was wrongfully appropriated. Good morning. I'm News 10's Jasmine Dean. Crowley's Chief of Police Jimmy Broussard challenged his opponent Troy Abear's residence. Both Broussard and Abear are running for Crowley's Chief of Police. Candidate qualifications require anyone running for office must live within the city limits for a year prior to qualifying. The Acadian Superette joining us in the Acadiana Eats Kitchen today. The Raging Cajun, the Rube, and the Ribs, the Brisket, everything top notch. Knocked out two roast beef full boys all by myself. Sorry, Sylvia and Danielle, y'all are the best. However, Acadiana, go check them out. Notice he didn't apologize to me. It was only Sylvia and Danielle. He knows the deal. All right, let's take a look at the out the door forecast. Hot and muggy, scattered storms are back. That will be later on today, but there are actually are some isolated showers and storms this morning, and those temperatures will be working into the lower 90s. Uh huh, Daryl. We see how. Oh, I'm speaking too soon. We, I was gonna say we see how it is, but then again, um, Gerald's yeah, on his way Chris over here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah Chris, come yeah, on, Chris. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We can get this on yep. air. Okay, this is okay, so much meat. The Reuben, the Raging oh Cajun, the, ribs, the brisket. The brisket's looking good, man. That I don't want to hear that they don't get fed. <laughs> all right, I don't want to hear it. I we do. It. It oh is. my gosh, it looks so. Good. Of course, Acadia eats Tuesday Ooh. like it always is. Wow, thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Acadia and Soup Red. Uh, we're going to chow down. That's, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at noon. Bye. Have a great morning.